Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. I hope all's good. Here, I'm going to continue with off the kit stuff. Stuff that you need to do in preparation for using um, your electronic drum kit and uh, a computer, a DAW. I'm going to be running Ableton. This makes using some of the instruments within the software really quick. This concerns the drum rack. So what I need to do is make sure that when I go to a drum rack, I can load up a template which immediately gives all my mappings so everything's in the right place. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. Over here, I have a project open. Uh, I've got a MIDI channel, that's all. And on that MIDI channel, I'm going to drop a drum rack. And there it is. And as you can see, down here, if I start highlighting the cells of the drum rack, I can't do anything. I can't rename them at all. As long as I'm communicating with the channel, I can, I can play them, I can activate them. So making sure that communication's on, I've got my monitor in, or you can arm the track. If I hit the kick drum, as you can see, C1 is activated. Hit the snare, D1 is activated. So I know that MIDI is getting there, but what I want to do to set up the template is when I hit the kick drum on C1, I'd love to be able to call that kick and where the snare drum is, snare, and so on, all around the kit. So you can either drop a sample in there or you can drop an instrument. What I do is I grab a sampler and I'll just drop it onto C1 and it says sampler. So I want to rename that. Whether you're using Mac or PC, if you right click on it or control click, on a Mac and it comes up rename. Where it says rename, at the end of it, it tells you what that shortcut is for it. On a Mac computer, which I'm using, it's the um, command R button. Okay, hit rename and just type in kick and that's a kick drum. Once you do that, you can actually get rid of the sampler, but it will still say kick. If you grab another sampler and drop it into D1, Control click or right click, depending on the software that you're using, um, the operating system, Windows or Mac. Rename, and you call that snare. Again, you can get rid of it. The snare still stays, stays there though. And then you go around the kit, the toms, the rides, the crashes, etc., etc., And you rename it in that process as you go, just dropping a sampler on there or a simpler or any instrument you want, you can get rid of it afterwards and you rename it. And once it's all done, you go up to the top right hand corner and you hit save. And it will save in the drum rack. I already have one here which is called DTX 900 template. So if I can find it, there it is. And I drop that on the MIDI channel. There is my template already mapped out. So all my triggers, every single trigger that's on this kit is in that template. So I can sit down and straight away, kick, snare, tom, two, three, and so on. All around the kit, everything's already there for me. It saves me a lot of time. So then if I want, I can just start dropping samples onto those cells. So where it says kick, I can grab kick samples and I can throw kick samples in there. Whatever samples I want to put around the kit, I've got a template where I can put them and I know that they're going to appear on my kit in those places. So there you go. It's a very quick, very easy little video this week which shows you how to get working quickly and easily and making your workflow a lot more efficient within Ableton and your electronic drums. Thanks for watching. Have a good time until the next bid vid, which will be the next time. Take it easy until then, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on Facebook, hit the like button. And if you aren't aware, I have a book, The Art of E-Drumming, out, which is all about combining the two worlds of drumming and technology. You can get your copy over at www.tugted.com. And I will hopefully see you another time. Take it easy until then. Ta-da!